All right, guys, that was a wild foil ride this morning. Uh, while this 2020 has been kind of a rough year and things have been kind of chaotic, uh, today is September the 1st, and it is the first day of ginseng season. So uh, I'm doing my duty. I'm going to go out here and, and uh, do some ginseng hunting. Well, the area I come to, there's not been a four-wheeler up through it all year, and it was all overgrown and I'm covered up with weeds, and my four-wheeler's covered up with weeds and stuff. Let me just get it where you can see it. Four-wheeler's all covered up with stuff. And uh, well, smacked in the face a few times. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go ginsenging. And anytime I'm ginsenging, I always look for Bigfoot stuff. And I know they are Bigfoot in this area. Uh, I didn't think I would get to ginsenging here this year because of, uh, I started doing some logging about, I don't know, maybe a mile down the road. And the word was they was gonna actually log all this. And I still think they're eventually going to uh, because they're gonna strip it again for coal. But uh, I'm gonna go here and and uh, do some ginsengin and I'm gonna take you along with me and uh, who knows what we'll find I've not been in here this year because of the logging and such I've not actually been up in here and uh, so maybe we'll find some Bigfoot stuff I know there's a Bigfoot using up here I found stick formations and things like that so I'm just gonna take you guys along with me uh, let me can you look at behind me you see all the beautiful mountains we've got plenty of plenty to explore so and I enjoy ginseng hunting and I always try to do it in season. One year I did it a little bit early because the, the information I found on the internet showed that it came in the second week of August. So I started, I got about a week's worth of ginseng and I found out that, hey, don't come into the first. So I quit until the season came in. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me and uh, fight these spiders off. They're everywhere with nobody been up through here. So, all right, talk to you guys in a few minutes. All right, I found the first one of the year. A nice little three prong there. Three fork, they call them. So I tell me there might be more around here. Uh, the cobwebs are terrible. Lord have mercy. Spiders everywhere. And I just don't like spiders. But I'm going to see if I can dig this up without tearing it up. And then I'll continue to look around a little bit. Okay, guys, I am now in an area where I know there is Bigfoot activity. I've, I've had it in the past year. If you right in behind me, back in there is where I found some stick structures. Several actually. So from here on out I'll have to be more observant and I'll have to have my head more on a swivel too because I do know we have bears and things like that in here. But I'm fixing to go over in that way. I've found ginseng there in the past so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step over and look and there also there was a structure there that's fairly close I want to look at it. See if it's still there. I've always looked for tracks in this little area, but I don't recall ever finding any. But it came a hard, hard rain early this morning. I don't know, three or four o'clock. So if we, if we was to find something, I know it'd be fresh. And I have found a little bit of ginseng on this side too. Been a couple years since I actually ginseng this particular area, and uh, so I guess it uh, kind of came back a little bit. Ginseng don't come up every year; every plant don't same the same. So, but I am looking down this little trench way for tracks. <laughs> Man, it almost looks like one right there. Almost. I mean, it could be. Maybe I don't know. I believe it is. Wow, I believe that's a track, guys. Yep, it is. That is a track. Nice. All right, that's. I think that's the first track I've ever found in this little spillway. Right there looks like part of another one. May not be though. Oh, right there he is though. Right there's one. Right there's the hill. See it? Right there's the hill. So that lets me know they're still in here, that's good. See, I've not been up in here because, I don't know, about a mile, maybe, probably maybe two miles from here, they were doing some logging on the opposite side of the mountain. So I figured it wouldn't do no good to come in here because normally when there's logging going on, the uh, Bigfoot kind of, yeah, look there, it might be one there, I can't tell. Usually the Bigfoot are kind of scarce if any kind of logging's going on. So that's cool, I'm glad to find those. 
and I have found some cool structures in here. I actually, when I shot, uh, when I made the little series, almost live season one, most of it was shot in here. And uh, a lot of those structures are in that film. And uh, other things were found. Part of season two was even filmed in here. But yeah, that's, that's a big spider right on me. Hate them things. Oh, we got a little turkey action here. A little turkey action. <laughs> I like it's up in the tree. Yeah, where'd they go? It was on the roost. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we used to coon hunt and run up on those at night and they tear out of the tree like that. You're talking about making you jump. It'll do it. That's a cool little thing we had happen this morning. That's neat. All right, I'm gonna, I'll cut this uh, camera off and uh, I'll go ahead and start looking for ginseng again over the hill here. But yeah, cool, looks like we got at least two treks there. Right there might be a part of another one. That's cool, we'll take it. Good deal, I hope they stay in here. But now they're, the plan is, is to clear cut every bit of this mountain and then push all the dirt in the holler and get some coal. I don't know, I didn't even know there's much coal left on this side, so I thought they'd already mined it all out, but oh well. I hate it, but nothing you can do about it, don't you? All right, guys, until the next video, be good. All right, guys, I wanna show you this area because this is where maybe one or two years ago I was in here ginsenging and I was right in here somewhere hunked down digging and heard something coming through the woods and right around the corner of that rock a big mama bear stepped out she had four cubs with her and her and I was about eight to ten foot away from each other I was right in here and she was right there and we looked at each other dead now and, and I just told her get out of here and she ran off one or two of the cubs run up a tree and the others went up through there. But I found all kinds of ginseng in here then. And uh, I stayed under the hill here digging. And I could hear the bears still up in here fooling around. They didn't run far. I actually had to shoot my pistol that day because the mother bear got so far out and started coming back and I had to shoot. And uh, then they just ran off up in there a little ways. I could hear them moving around. But I wanted to share that little story with you. That's uh, She was a big one too. That's pretty pretty close. All right, I want to look around for some ginseng. I done found one nice three fork here and dug it, so I'll look around a little bit more. All right, guys, made it to what I call Rock City. It's nothing but a bunch of rocks, so I have to kind of be careful going through here, watching for snakes and things like that. Usually, you usually don't find much ginseng, but if you do, usually it's pretty good size, so. All right, going to head on through. There's something you don't see every day. I just walking along and this snake just laying dead for some reason. I don't know, maybe drown or something. You'd think if a predator killed it, it would have ate it, but it's just kind of weird. All right, I'm heading on back to the, my four-wheeler. Been a pretty good day. All right, guys, that concludes today's adventure. We got about five miles in of uh, off-trail hiking, uh, looking for ginseng, just rough through the mountains. Found quite a bit of ginseng. Found several Bigfoot tracks, possible Bigfoot tracks, and uh, a dead snake, so, and a few other odd things, but Thank you guys for watching and until next time I see ya.